Hello, my name is Arun Gupta and I work for Sun Microsystems. In this short screencast, I will show you a simple web application that allows you to track your running miles. So if you are a runner, you'll find this application very handy. This application is built using JRuby, Ruby on Rails, deployed using Glassfish Jam, used NetBeans IDE as a development, deployment and debugging environment, uses MySQL as a database backend and also uses Yahoo user interface library for charting purposes. So let's have a look at the application now. Here is the front page of the application. As you can see the application layout is very simple. It's got a header at the top, a navigation bar on the left hand side and it shows a summary of the total runs that have been logged so far this year. So you can click on home and it basically brings you back to the same page. Total hours run, total miles run, total number of days run. It's useful statistics to calculate the total number of days run in a particular year and other similar statistics. Now I can add a new run. So I click on add a run. It automatically shows me today's date and let's say if I hit create over here by default, it performs a um, lot of validations. It says distance can be blank, not a number, runtime must be specified. So let's say I enter my run from this morning. It was four miles and uh, it took me 23 minutes and 41 seconds. And then I click on create. So very cool, run log was successfully created. It automatically shows me my pace as well. If I want, I can edit it as well and add a comment over here. And then save it and it's over here. I can go back to my home page, and the number of days of run is automatically updated. So is the total hours and the total miles run as well. So that's pretty simple, very slick so far. Um, I can click on running log and it will show me all the running logs so far that has been recorded in this system. They are all nicely shown in a tabulated manner. Each run you can click on show, edit or destroy to perform the CRUD operations. Um, they use a nice pagination scheme as well. So I can click on next. They're all sorted nicely on date, um, shows distance, time taken, pace things like that. Click on next and it nicely scrolls you through all the pages. I can click on 21 and it automatically takes me to the last page. And this is a record that we just added. So, so far so good. Now let's look at um, what other things we can do over here. I click on races and it shows me all the different races that I've run so far and it shows me the complete details about these races similar stuff you know you have title distance run date run time similar details you can perform crud operations using show edit destroy very easily um, so this is the marathon that I ran recently I click on show it shows me all the details over here if I don't want to do anything back here I can click on races again and it shows me all the details over here okay now that is the very simple part of it so far um, let's look at the different charts that can be generated um, using this application so I click on charts and it shows me different durations for which the charts can be generated I can generate either a line chart or a bar chart and I can generate charts for either my daily running logs or my races that have been done so far um, let's start with a fancy chart so far now let's say we want to generate a chart for a custom date so we click on custom date and then we say start date and let's say we want to generate for from June 10th to July 10th we select the two dates we want to generate a line chart and we want to generate a daily logs click on generate charts boom here you go the chart is automatically generated for us you hover your mouse and it says on June 10th how much miles you ran at what pace um, that tooltip is shown for all throughout the chart. So you can nicely hover your mouse and you can see it's showing you m miles, distance, pace and date and things like that. Um, I can click on bar chart over here and I can say generate bar chart for me. So the exact same information is represented in the bar charts. And again 
the tool tips are very handy over here I can actually say generate some information for races and now this time I want to say instead of custom dates I want to generate all the races I have run so far so I click this here and then click on generate charts and it shows me the two races that I've done so far here is one and I go all the way down here and here's a second one I can say generate a line chart for the same thing and same information is displayed in the line chart um, I can go back to my daily logs and I can also choose something very simple say this month and then it automatically generates charts for me for this month showing me how much distance I'm covering and things like that so this is a very nice uh, very simple application allows you to track your running miles uh, but the key point over here is it's built using JRuby, Ruby on Rails um, hosted on Glassfish Jam uh, using MySQL as a backend using NetBeans IDE as a development environment literally built in a matter of few days um, comes up very quickly so um, give it a spin let's look at some references the project homepage is available at runner.kenai.com um, all the instructions to check out um, the Rails version of the application, how to run it, everything is uh, explained in detail on the wiki over here. The goal is also to build this similar application using uh, multiple other web frameworks that can be easily deployed on Glassfish. For example, Wicket, um, Java EE, of course, um, Grails, Django, and so on and so forth. Um, of course, you have pointers for all the key um, technologies that are used in this particular version of the product. So you can download Glassfish from here, JRuby from JRuby.org, NetBeans.org, RubyOnRails.org, and MySQL.org. And last but not the least, you can of course go to my blog on blogs.sun.com slash Arun Gupta for all the latest and greatest details. Hope you enjoy this application. Uh, I more than appreciate you know taking your feedback on the different frameworks that needs to be chosen, the evaluation criteria for these frameworks. Um, so keep coming back to uh, runner.kenai.com, participate in the forum, and let us know. Thank you.